I'm back. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is Tetra Ninja, and I welcome you back to another Call of Duty Black Ops video. And uh, a lot of you have been wondering where I have been. Uh, my last video was an Assassin's Creed video, uncommentated, where I showed you guys how to unlock the best armor in the game. And the other one before that was a kind of a um, Grizz montage, game montage kind of thing. Once again, uncommentated with some Rise Against music thrown in the background. <laughs> And a lot of you guys, uh, through personal messages and as well in the comment boxes, have been wondering where I've been. Uh, and actually some of you have been thinking that I've actually given up on the whole commentating thing in this community. Uh, but that's not true at all. And the reason I have been taking a little bit of a break from this channel is because I'm actually smack dab in the middle of exams. I had a statistics exam last night and I have another one on Saturday and that will be it for me and I will be on my Christmas break and yeah so I haven't actually given given up on this channel or anything uh, but uh, for some of you this may be sad but when it comes in terms of priorities uh, school always takes priority over this channel and gaming in general so <laughs> I don't like taking long breaks but sometimes life takes a go ahead of all that kind of stuff so yeah um, we're playing uh, headquarters game on Havana and there are a couple reasons I decided to choose this gameplay the first being it is the first game right after I have had prestige so I'm using the default SMG class which is an MP5K and usually after I prestige I jump into a headquarters match just because that is the quickest way to level up in this game and I want to be able to create my classes as quick as possible and the other reason is I am actually playing this game by myself and if you watch my last video on Havana I talked about how game gameplays where you, you see the commentator rolling in a party of six playing domination completely pub stomping and spawn trapping the other team by holding 9-2 flags is not that very not very entertaining at all and yeah the other reason final reason I posted this gameplay for you guys to watch because I thought the overall this game was really really fun to play and watch at the same time so yeah and that is basically all I'm going to talk about the gameplay and I usually post two types of videos it's either a tip video where I'm showing you guys tips and tricks uh, exclusively on how to get better at this game and the second videos I like to do once in a while are just one-on-one -on -one talks or talks in general where I talk about uh, my personal feelings this community or things in society and if you came to this video exclusively for gameplay talk and strategy, you might as well leave right now because we're not going to be touching much of that at all. So yeah, um, the main meat of this video, it is December and that means that it is Christmas. Christmas is just around the corner uh, as I record this video uh, and I have not got anywhere near finished my Christmas list or my Christmas shopping list sorry but I will get on that and um, what I'm gonna be talking about today is the taboo of Christmas and uh, it seems more and more frequently as time progresses it's become looked down upon to actually wish people a Merry Christmas and the political it's politically wrong to do that if you don't know the person's religious affiliation uh, the politically right thing to do is just to wish someone a happy holidays and uh, before I get into too far into that I'll give you a little bit of a background information on myself uh, for a lot of you if you didn't already know I am Asian uh, even though I do apparently sound white at times or <laughs> well it's because I am I am whitewashed I grew up in a small town of about 2,000 people uh, it was a small farming town and just to give you an idea of how in-depth the agriculture was or important the ag agriculture was and how whitewashed it was uh, we actually have an annual festival called the potato festival because that was the main crop that we grew it was potatoes and we celebrated it and it was freaking awesome and a lot of people got drunk <laughs> but yeah anyways and as well to give you an example of how whitewashed the town was uh, I was the actually the only Asian person in my elementary school other than my sister up until grade 3. My sister's uh, 3 years older than me. So me and her, uh, we held down the Asian community at our small town school. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm completely whitewashed but I do not celebrate Christmas at all. And actually Christmas uh, at times actually became very depressing around my household because um, 
I was on break and everything just like everyone else and um, it was just kind of sad to know especially on Christmas Day that when, when he knew for a fact that your friends were at home with their family members um, um, unboxing their presents for what they got from Santa Claus and all that kind of stuff and yeah it was still kind of depressing uh, especially when you got back to school and everyone was talking about what they did on Christmas break and showing off all the stuff that they got and you didn't actually get anything yourself um, you would think that would actually make me completely bitter towards the holidays and completely hate it uh, but that, it was actually the complete opposite uh, growing in a small town that was predominantly white I think it gave me the understanding that you have to respect other people's traditions and what they do um, with their families and what they celebrate and I think as time progresses we move away from the fact that Christmas is actually a celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ well that's not necessarily true uh, but we're not gonna I'm not gonna give you a history lesson right there but anyways uh, and I, th I personally think that what Christmas has evolved to is just the opportunity or uh, for lack of a better word an excuse kind of just to get go, go with your families um, eat a bunch of turkey uh, exchange some gifts and, uh, maybe drink a one too many beers or eggnog laced with alcohol or something like that and it's just uh, it's an opportunity to get to get back together with your family and celebrate what it means to be a family I guess and I completely respect that fact and I personally do not take offense at all when someone wishes me a uh, happy or a Merry Christmas I was about to say a happy birthday right there I do not take offense if, uh, if anyone wishes me a Merry Christmas at all I am full willing to say it back you have a Merry Christmas as well um, but at this day and age like I said earlier you can get in trouble and offend a lot of people uh, uh, if they don't actually celebrate Christmas and I, that notion itself, I think, is completely unwarranted and silly. It's um, completely ridiculous in the fact that uh, I don't understand how can someone be that offended, regardless if you're Jewish, if you're Muslim, uh, if you're if you're Arabic or any of that kind of stuff. Um, if you're any of those religious affiliations and you don't celebrate Christmas, you don't have just don't say anything back or just say happy holidays back. Um, there's no reason to be offended or anything like that or those t uh, to that extreme. Um, like I said, a lot of people, a lot of people as of right now, don't even understand the concept of Christmas, especially little children. They think it's a time of year where a fat man dressed up in a big red suit is. Uh, <laughs> brings them presents and actually that brings me another good point in which uh, people have been actually arguing that Santa Claus is not a good role model to children because he's actually obese and he breaks into houses and <laughs> and <laughs> goes down chimneys and drinks a lot of milk and eats a lot of cookies and all that kind of stuff and I think as time progresses uh, so and societies become more integrated and you get a lot of blended communities uh, you get situations like this where, um, especially when you run into older communities uh, who are kind of stuck in their ways and then more people kind of move into those communities and they're not, let's say, for lack of a better word, white, white, I guess. But anyways, uh, back on topic. Um, I think as a sign of respect, if you're living in someone else's country, um, I know for my myself, my, I've been to back to Vietnam a couple of times, um, which where all my family is. I'm Vietnamese, and actually, there's my last name is located. It's written on a sign and on the map, cracked. It's strong and near, near the back of the water. If you haven't seen it yet, it's T R U O N G. So it's kind of my slice of uh, popularity right here, where. My, my last name is actually in this game <laughs> anyways um, like I was saying my parents came to this country and I personally came to this country when I was about two years of age and what was happening is we were uh, escaping the country we were refugees and um, I can tell you right now the life the freedoms that I enjoy as of right now in this country are a lot more than I would have enjoyed back in uh, back in back home and I would I would probably be married and have kids right now just because at my age that would be the normal thing to do. And um, as a sign of respect, if you guys watched my uh, last we forget uh, Remembrance Day video that I posted on Machinima, 
it's the exact same principle I find um, if you're living in someone else's country or well so I don't view this as my, someone else's country I view it as my country but if you came from another country regardless of your religious affiliation you do have to sign, uh, show a little bit of respect for the people that the country was founded upon um, the, the country of Canada was founded upon uh, francophones which being French people as well as British people so you have your Christianity and you have to respect that um, and I think we kind of move away from that just like I said earlier as time progresses and we, we move into a quote-unquote multicultural society uh, if you even know what that means at all I, I say that sarcastically or with air quotes because if you ask a person what it actually means for Canada to be multicultural they'll usually point the fingers and saying we're just not American which is in, is, isn't the greatest of answers <laughs> but yeah um, my message overall is if, if you're living in another country or a country that's not native to you and you're and people are celebrating Christmas that you know for a fact that it is very very important to them uh, you don't have to look any further than your local store our retail store around your your house to know that Christmas is a big deal to a lot of people that's why you have a huge influx of commercialism presents decorations and all that kind of stuff but uh, even though that's not the basis of the of the um, the holiday itself it does have a lot of merit so overall I think it's just that <laughs> guys if, if, if you are one of those people I that do take offense to people actually wishing you a Merry Christmas uh, you first off ask yourself why why does this necessarily offend me and why and why am I getting, getting all heated up because someone just randomly probably out of just sheer at the top of the head just because it is that time of year to wish you a Merry Christmas and if the if you do get offended then I I, I just urge you please please do not make a big deal of it I know the whole freedom of speech thing and the freedom of association and freedom of blah 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 I am in political science I can continue ranting on that's why I studied in school I study political science um, but yeah overall long-winded answer or long-winded thing just eat, if, as a sign of respect to everyone else don't make a big deal out of it guys it's just it's just a holiday um, one of many, um, I think, but this one in particular, people get a little bit heated upon. Uh, once last time you got someone, <laughs> you offended someone by saying Happy Halloween, which is a pagan holiday, to be exact, where they celebrated the underworld, basically, or St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> where you celebrated Irish people. Uh, when was the last time actually someone actually got offended about that? So. Um, it's not that great big of a deal guys I know for a fact that it is still a very weird holiday uh, for me to celebrate because like I said I actually only started celebrating it last year but yeah if someone wishes you a happy holidays guys uh, just say nod smile and wish them a Merry Christmas or a happy holidays and a happy new year and all that kind of stuff and as yeah that's my take home message for you guys I wish all you guys a really great Christmas holidays whatever your religious affiliation is Hanukkah and uh, hopefully it stays safe you enjoy some company with your family and as well if you are of the age to drink I uh, just ask you to please please do not drink and drive uh, the holidays is just about a time of being together with your family members and uh, just uh, we all know the story about drinking and driving guys so if you do if you are of the age to enjoy alcohol responsibly I just ask you guys do not drink and drive so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching hopefully this video has been, not been too boring for you guys to listen to I with my little rant on Christmas and that whole kind of thing so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching once again have a very Merry Christmas if I don't talk to you to, to you before that and I will see you guys next time peace